Hey everyone, this is your girl Gloria from Heart of the City San Diego and I am just doing a quick video here in my uh, Airbnb before we take off. Um, this is my last day here, last full day, and um, we are on our way to another um, refugee center hostel uh, type thing and um, this is my last day We're, guys we are working to the very end <laughs> okay um, and God is moving God is using um, a lot of the young folks people from America people from um, all just various different places uh, another young man just left us he's going to Germany and then on to America um, and I'm not sure where he's from. I, I didn't really catch it, but uh, he, he's not American. Um, and so, God, so many wonderful things. Oh my gosh, we met so many people. Uh, we bonded, I bonded with um, amazing, amazing people. Um, and, you know, we were able to purchase care packages. Like, you guys gave generously and we used... Um, every, you know, every bit of that to go for um, care packages. And um, now to today, well, what I want to share with you is uh, we're meeting a, a lady today who is going to transport some dog food way eastern to the where the war zone, the red zone, you know, in the line of fire where there's a um, pet sanctuary where there was someone who stayed to um, take care of abandoned pets, you know? So uh, people had to flee and they left their pets, okay? Um, I don't know if you're like a dog lover like me, but leaving a pet behind is heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Um, they, you know, uh, they're like a family member and if they're, if they're not put up for adoption or, you know, that they're going for a good home. I mean, you know that they're not human, obviously, but they're, they're, they give unconditional love. And many people um, are very, very close to their pets. And so to have to leave them is another compounded wound. To have someone stay to take care of pets is... Uh, I mean, who does that? So, you know, we want to help with that. That's important. Um, so we, we are sending, we are actually sending um, some dog food to uh, the eastern part of Ukraine. Uh, so um, we have a, someone to transport it and, um, and get it way, way in there. So connections you know, when you start to do this type of thing, one connection leads to another connection, leads to another connection. And if you know me, I'm your homegirl from San Diego, and I'm one of the best connectors around. No joke. <laughs> so, um, you know, they, they used to call me very, very shy. <laughs> Who knew that I would be, you know, you know, a pretty good connector. Um, you know, it's just all, it's all God. It's all God's doing, um, you know, and it's all his glory to, to the glory to him to, for all that he has done. So I only just get to be a part of this. Um, you know, um, I get to be a co-laborer in this whole thing. Um, and I'm just completely honored. I get to represent my city, San Diego, where I'm from, your homegirl. Um, you know, I, um, you know, I just, uh, just so many things running through my head and I'm trying to keep this documented so you can see what is going on. Um, it's just amazing. So I'm just, uh, just completely honored, um, you know, try to to dress a little decent, <laughs> but, um, you know, I just, you know, this is the end of my stay and, uh, clothes are running out. So, like, you know, I just came in, I didn't bring a big suitcase. It's only a little tiny one, little tiny carry on one guys. Um, and 
you know, just been washing things by hand or whatever and then hanging them out to dry because that's what you do in Europe anyway. You know, people, people just wash their things and then they just hang it to dry. You know, we don't, we're not, uh, in Europe, people don't, you know, use their washing machine like all the time, like that. So, um, you know, wash, having a washing machine is a luxury, basically. Uh, people have them, but, you know, you'll see people hanging stuff out. It's still a thing. <laughs> so, and I lived in Europe for a long time. I lived in London, so I know that hanging things out is a thing. So, um, so yeah, with that said, I, I'm going to go for now we're off and running again today on my last day um we're going to be in the hostels i have lots of photos for you to to check out and stuff um you know please uh continue to donate continue to donate the donations are going straight to um you know uh the things that are most important you know um again i am for all the people all the people again I'm for all the people okay but right now um, my focus is on the Ukrainian crisis um, situation so a lot of our donations and things are going towards that okay when I get back to San Diego we're gonna work on some stuff here um, you know right in San Diego I'm not here yet but <laughs> when I get back to San Diego we're gonna work on some things here in San Diego um, you know, whatever that looks like, I don't know yet. Okay. Um, and, um, for those of you who want to partner with me, um, jump on board, but it's going to be work, hard work. Okay. So, um, get, if you, if you want to come overseas, then you got to get with, um, my friends here and I'll connect you with them. But it's not going to be a vacation, guys. This, this is work, like a lot of laboring. Um, it's emotional. Um, it's overwhelming at times. Um, you know, um, if you're a burnout kind of person, this is not for you. Not for you. Um, don't come. Uh, you got to, 